Hello, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about Dell Precision T1700 memory upgrade kits and how to properly configure the system. You know, before we get started today on the T1700, normally we just hop right in on our videos. You know, it, we're working late, it's uh, after hours here, so I figured, hey, Let's grab a beer. Let's do a one-minute beer together. So let's do a virtual cheers. If you're interested, of course, don't you know, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. Don't go grab a beer. But let's do a virtual cheers. Um, hit pause. Go grab a beer, and we're gonna do do a one-minute beer. All right. Let's get started. Go. It's like a tradition up here where you know when we're working late we like to have some fun so we try to do uh, a one minute beer as opposed to like say shotgunning or something more college like so have a little fun right 30 seconds all right i'm gonna leave what you guys got 20 seconds to finish. All right, 15, 14, 13. All right, five seconds left. All right, well, thanks for having a one minute beer with me. We're gonna go ahead and get started on the video now. This machine accepts Intel E3 1200 V3 series CPUs. There's only one CPU socket and it's an LGA 1150. It takes DDR3 memory and there are four DIMM slots. You can put in uh, speeds of 1333, 1600, or 1866 megahertz. We of course recommend maxing out and just going ahead and going with 1866. You can use uh, two gig, four gig, or all the way up to eight gig DIMMs. You cannot put in 16 gig DIMMs for this machine. Unfortunately, uh, that does not, does not exist for uh, ECCM buffered or for um, desktop DIMMs for uh, DDR3. Uh, there's two types of memory that you can use. You can use um, ECCM buffered, or you can use um, non-ECC unbuffered uh, desktop memory. Unfortunately, with the non-ECC unbuffered desktop memory, you can only max out at 16 gigabytes, and you can put in uh, four, four gig, or even if you want two, eight gigs, you have to put them uh, each in the beginning of the uh, uh, channels, which I'll show you here in a second when we open it up. Um, and with ECC unbuffered, you can actually max out at 32 gigs, putting in four, eight gigs at a total speed of 1866 megahertz. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about uh, the actual dim that dims that it used. The, that it uses. Let's go ahead and open it up. Um, I'll show you uh, how to properly load the system um, and a little bit more about the inside. Before we do get inside, I'm going to grab my ESD gear and I'll be right back. Now that we have our ESD gear on, we're safe to open the machine. If you're at home and you don't have ESD gear on, I completely understand. I would recommend at least trying not to do it on carpet. Uh, carpet will for sure have uh, electrostatic discharge that could potentially damage the machine. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and open it up uh, just like uh, pretty much any um, uh, desktop or workstation. There's going to be a latch that you just lift up. Uh, it lifts this direction. There's, uh, I don't want to call them hinges, but for lack of better reference, there's hinges to the side uh, that it just pops up on. And then you can just lift it straight up uh, and then put it to the side. So. Uh, now that we are in, I want to show you a little bit more about the system. So you got, as we talked about, one CPU. Right now, uh, there's a heat seek uh, fan combo on top. Uh, this is just to keep the CPU cool. Uh, as, uh, as most of you should be aware, there always needs to be this on top. Um, there are four DIMM slots, as we discussed. Um, the nice thing about this for us is Dell's actually even labeled the DIMM slots for you. So uh, it shows that uh, the start of the channel is the first channel right here. It uh, is one, and the next start of the channel, this white one over here, is two. So the two whites, as we discussed, are the starts of the channel. So if you were putting in desktop modules, and we talked about how uh, desktop on uh, unbuffered, non ECC unbuffered modules, you can only put in 16 gigs in the system, which is actually what this is right now. There are two 8 gigs in here. Um, you cannot put in four 8 gig uh, ECC, um, non ECC unbuffered, it will lead to errors. What we have over here is going to be ECC unbuffered, uh, and you can put in four of those and that's what we're going to do right now but again if you are using the non-ECC the best way to configure it or to load it is to make sure you put them in the start of the channels the two whites which is one and two um, just simple things to show okay now we're gonna go ahead and uh, pop these out and we are going to load the other ones in 
and I do recommend if this is a machine that you have at home that you're using, um, you know, really to increase the overall performance, uh, upgrading your RAM is one of the uh, best things that you can do, if not the best thing that you can do, uh, because a lot of time whatever CPU you have in there is generally more than adequate if you're doing, uh, you know, some really intense video, video editing or gaming, of course you want to have the best product that you can, but for just normal everyday use uh, and you're just wanting to get better performance for just the normal everyday applications that you're doing, uh, RAM is the best way to increase your performance. So before I load it, I do want to note right here there is a notch in the middle of the dim leads, also known as a key. The key is put there to uh, ensure that you put the module in the right direction and also to prevent users from putting the wrong type of modules in. Uh, for instance, you couldn't put in a DDR2 module or a DDR4 module, uh, the notch is in a different spot, okay? Uh, but it is also important to note because if, if you put this, you flip this around and you put this in the wrong way, uh, it can potentially damage the board or damage the module, neither of which are what you want. So it's just something to note to be very careful to make sure you line everything up properly. So I'm going to go ahead and start loading these up and show you just how easy and in a matter of seconds you can load everything. And I also want to note when you're popping in this first one right here, you should hear a nice click. You hear that click? That is uh, to make sure that you have fully seated the module. Uh, we hear it quite often, unfortunately, from you, uh, end users that are uh, installing their modules that they uh, think they have a failed DIM, uh, and nine times out of ten it is that they have not fully seated the module. It's a very common problem, uh, so just something to be aware of and be careful of uh, whenever you are installing the DIMs. Uh, and you do sometimes actually have to push kind of hard I'm not you know I'm saying to push hard down you don't want to damage the board but if you're pushing and it feels like you have to push a little bit hard you, you kind of do sometimes uh, just because they can be a little snug so all right well there we go just like that uh, we put in uh, 32 gigs is real simple real easy uh, definitely would recommend if you're going to be using this machine to max it out and get 32 gigs in there um, and you know with with modules being as cheap as they are nowadays uh, these dims are roughly about 50 bucks, and of course, by the time you're probably watching this video years down the line, they'll be even cheaper. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it up, and I uh, definitely appreciate you guys stopping by. Do us a favor and click the subscribe button down below, and also uh, like the video. Thanks again for uh, stopping by, and um, have a wonderful day.